Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Jenny and today I have some outfit updates for you. So, let's start with Filia here. I have made her entire outfit. She's pretty much done now. Um, she has a skirt, stripy skirt, an undershirt in white, sleeves. Um, she has an apron with a working pocket. She has a simple belt, a bag, a vest to fit with her skirt. Um, I've also made her a hat. You can see a bit of it here. And she has taken uh, Dia's hoodie. I do think that the green suits her quite well, though I did make her her own hoodie as well in grey. I just think that the green is, is a bit better for her. But yeah, uh, Vilia is pretty much done, at least for the time being. Uh, other updates I have made um, on Dia. Actually, I'm gonna take her from here. Ah, come on. Get, it, get her to stand. It's not very visible, but I have made a new shirt for her. This one, uh, it's a super simple shirt. It uh, it's closed from the top. Uh, it's pretty it's pretty long. It goes about here, but I keep it under her under her uh, pants, so it's all good. Uh, I've also made this part. It's like a um, halter. It attaches in the back, and I have made a matching hood. I did like what she had previously, but they were a bit too fancy. So this is going to be what she's going to wear for the time being. And then that's what I have succeeded at making. Uh, now let's get on to the fail. So here's I know. I'm going to have to adjust you a bit. To see, um, yeah, I think you can see the problem here. Um, <laughs> I tried to make a wig, and it's uh, I like the color, um, but um, otherwise, I think this is going to the trash. Uh, Vilia took Aino's old wig. So I don't need a new one, and I haven't been able to find a suitable one, suitable one for her. So uh, yeah, um, I'm gonna zoom in a bit and show you guys what the problem is. Well, first of all, it goes way too high up. It looks like she's she has a huge forehead, which I'm not a fan of. Ideally, I would like her to have either a side part or or um, or bangs, but I haven't been able to find any, and I wasn't able to make one. The problem is that I don't. There's a lot of stuff that's visible here. The entire wig is off, but if this like I, if I could make it so that the wefts weren't visible, this would be a wig that she would temporarily wear. But I don't think I'll be able to do that, so that's it. Um, it's not any better from the back, where I've just braided it to <laughs> conceal the problem, basically. Um, and I don't I don't I don't like this at all basically. If you know any place that would make um a nice wig for me or sell like a not super blonde but like natural blonde wigs at not super high prices, please let me know. She needs one. She doesn't want to be bold. Um okay, so here's the crew that I haven't made any changes to, but I want to show you anyway. The first is Shana, the one in the front. She is wearing uh, a white shirt from Etsy and 
a vest made by me, a belt made by me, this thing and the pants made by my friend. Uh, she's perfect. I don't think I'll be changing anything related to her in a while. Um, I think she just fits and she looks pretty much like herself. So other dolls are taking priority, despite her technically being uh, the most like a main character of my party party at the moment. I'm gonna put her into the back so I can show the rest. Um, Twisp is wearing a shirt made by me. A simple vest that's really like two straight pieces just straight over her shoulders with um, the piece connecting them and some tool in between. Oh, she's not liking this. Ah, I'm gonna adjust that later. Anyway, it's a really simple vest. Um, I also made her shirt. Um, and her belt and her like money bags with actual tiny coins in it. She has two bags. She likes to carry a lot of stuff with her. Um, she also has just leggings and shoes as well as a, a little scarf and a hat made by me. And then there's Alistair who is pretty much done-ish as well. I don't think I'll be adjusting his outfit for a while. He has also a headband and some uh, some like uh, scarves and uh, I've made him like warmer arm stuff. He has a long sleeved shirt. He has some belts and a pocket, spare pocket. And harm pants some leg warmers and white shoes. I think he's about done as well, though I do want to remake his face up at some point to further reflect his character. This is the previous owner's face up and although I like it, it's a bit too young for this character. Mm. What else? Oh, my um, Cece. She has gotten a name. Um, she still has a lot of clothes. I haven't been making any more, but she's taken to wearing this super simple outfit until I can find someone to take care of her, basically. She's like the baby of the group. Um, she needs a mom or a sister, but until then she's just going to be hanging around in this outfit. As far as other updates go, I don't really have that much to say at the moment. I am waiting on a couple of dolls and I will be making box opening videos for them and further updates on how they come up. Mm, they'll need to have all the clothes made and all the props and everything so that's probably going to be a while. Meanwhile I'm also trying to take a look at uh, the new BJD Addicts prompts I haven't made yet. There's a ton of them. I probably should start to go through them but I haven't really decided what to do next or if I should take them in order or anything. If you have any feedback on that I'd love to know but otherwise thank you for watch watching see you guys next time bye